So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the presentation why Eloflex is a multi-talent and uh, all-rounder for the safety control unit. So, within the presentation, we will answer you three main questions. Why is the Eloflex a typical Elobau product? Uh, what is the Eloflex able to do? And which kind of performance does the Eloflex have? Which kind of technical data we are having here? And uh, I will show you a small application, how the individual, your individual application is realizable with the Eloflex. And with that, we will start. So why is it a typical Elobau product? I think, I think throughout the presentation, one main question is, is always on the table. Um, what is the product behind the product? Because from your perspective, you only see the product, but you don't see anything about Elobau. And uh, the Eloflex is a result of a very good uh, Elobau investigation and um, with throughout the presentation i'd like to present you something about the product also something about the product behind the product yeah and uh, i love this uh, main sentences uh, main sentence from uh, from goethe nothing is inside nothing is outside but what is really inside is already is also really outside so all the function you see which are combined in the eloflex is is has something to do with the people with the mindset with the working and uh, also with the kind of a purpose how the people are working at elobau and um i want to start with that uh what what is what is the main purpose at elobau so if you if you see um above the name sustainable solutions so that is not that is not so hard that sustainability is a main part um, at Elobau. And uh, it is like our North Star, our main purpose. You can call it like you want, but uh, everything what we do is, is sustainable. Sustainability also uh, a main, main issue inside our products. And uh, we want to bring... Uh, the 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 triad of economy so social and ecology together and to combine it in one not only uh, not only here but to make a transition of 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 having all one and um and throughout the presentation i also want to um explain to you why sustainability is um is or enable a uh, top price performance ratio and why sustainability is the basis for having uh, uh, products which are very successful on the market and um, and with that i will show you up that there is no competitor on the market and uh, no other company in that size of Elobau which are which is going that way and on the other side i will show you why we will have why while this makes us so so successful on that so just with just to end up with one sentence um, the sustainability strengthen a very good product and the other way around very good product needs a kind of sustainability so but not to may not not only to mention sustainability and uh, you know that or the younger people know that that uh, the most the most of the companies are just talking about sustainability and it's a kind of a green washing no it's true we are really going green and i want to give you some facts about that that we are um, that we are using 100% of green electricity and um, we are carbon we have a carbon neutral production since 2010 uh, we are investigation reforestation in the uh, tropical rainforest um, approximately 700 hectares a year um, and we reduced since 10 years uh, significantly our co2 footprint and um, yeah 
Ilobao is making also a lot of other things like uh, social and regional engagement. Uh, in our canteen, we only use organic food. And um, yeah, and I want to, to, to give you an, 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 an tip for a presentation from my colleague, Patrick Löw, uh, which hold it uh, yesterday, a uh, company becomes sustainable. Our part means we as Elobau, our path to climate change. And it is, uh, it is uh, available soon. So, but enough with that, let's go on the, let's go on the technical side. This is what is interesting for you. This is how, um, how you can realize your application, which kind of function do you have for it? Which kind of market uh, does we target mainly? And I can say, I can tell you there is no main target. We are, uh, uh, we are, um, uh, we have as an objective, but we, uh, the, the, the Eloflex is a kind of a kit and we want to give it to you to, to make your own safety device based on your needs and based on the boundary condition the Eloflex uh, gives to us. And um, for that, uh, we have a scalable solution with two different kind of housings. A Eloflex, the wider housing, and a Eloflex Mini, the smaller housing. And um, just to give you an, an, an indication, since then we are on the market with that, with the Eloflex since 2009, and with the Eloflex Mini since 2014. So um, the Eloflex, uh, you can you can just imagine that very easy. The Eloflex, the bigger one, has uh, up to four safety input, which are uh, double channeled and uh, up to four safety outputs and uh, has four control outputs and two uh, EDM start inputs, external device monitoring. It's suitable for PLD and PLE. And the Eloflex Mini mostly just have the half of this kind of function because it's in the half of the size of the housing, of course. <laughs> yeah. Well, how does this look like on, 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 on that side? We have here four sensors. Uh, later on, on, on the later slides, we will see which kind of functionality we can connect to it. And uh, here we have the safety outputs. And here I want to mention that uh, we have a kind of a clue. This is one of the clues here that uh, the safety outputs are already uh, internal uh, redundant and uh, each of them you can use up to PLE with a fault exclusion. So you have you, you could have four independent safety outputs up to PLE and uh, that is a very, very good feature based on the 45 millimeter housing. And then you have uh, four solid state outputs. Uh, each of them just has 100 milliamps, uh, two EDM external device or start inputs, and the 24 voltage supply. Uh, here you have an overview of of um, of the function, which are uh, which you can realize with the Eloflex. But I just want to show you based on based on the safety function you want to realize. You have different kind of logic. Uh, logic links, but later on uh, we will have um, we will have a, a example application where you will see that as well. Here are the and kind of an overview which kind of safety function you could realize. We will have different kind of safety sensors. Doesn't matter if they are magnetic. Doesn't matter if they are RFID. Uh, base technology, doesn't matter if we have uh, door monitoring, uh, light curtains, two-hand controls, emergency stop, um, laser scanners, or, or some others. And here is a kind of schematic how you can connect them to the Eloflex and uh, how does this look like and um, with, with the other connection of the inputs and outputs. So 
let's give you a short overview of the product K. The first six digits are referring to the housing and, uh, and, and refers on the small or bigger housing, which is Aeloflex and Aeloflex Mini. We already saw a picture. Uh, the second uh, the second digits after are an indication of uh, is it PLD or PLE suitable and uh, the next uh, is an indication of how many outputs do you have and with that how many relays are are inside are inside the device and the last digits are a configuration number uh, which is based on on your individual configuration. This is given this is given on Elobau based on uh, which configuration you are doing, so that you have always a, a unique configuration. And uh, here I have a certain kind of border because in in that case, and uh, this with a relay, this is just an indication. Here it's a lot of uh, of uh, sustainability inside. Because the main message is you only pay what you get uh, and what you configure and uh, you get what you pay. So if you just need one safety output, we only equip two safety relays. If you need two, we equip four safety relays and we will save, of course, the other the other relays. So this is not only uh, sustainable, but this is also a big benefit for you because the costs for the product uh, are, are then uh, based on, on the function. So pay per function is the idea behind here. And we have that sit, uh, since 2009. Just remember that. So connection technology uh, what we have here is you have different kind of of, of clamps you have push-in terminals double terminals screw terminals so in different kind of variants uh, they are all they are already packed in four pieces uh, in each pack and if you have a elo flex you need two packs if you have a elo flex mini you just need one pack and of course we also have a coding set where you can code the clamps so that one clamp just fit to 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 the dedicated place, and uh, for a higher amount, we can offer you that as a service that we do the coding of the clamps um, inside Elobau, and uh, you can ask the technical inside sales for it. Nice. Let's come to the main part. The main part is how your individual application succeeds. Very easy with the Eloflex. And right now, um, I will show you that uh, with with five with five easy steps, um, you can have your own safety device based on totally on your needs. But first of all, you need a computer. You as a customer, you go to the Elobau website. And then uh, you go to the Eloflex as a product and uh, you configure this product. And then this product is coming to you as a customer and you have a ready to use product. Very easy. It sounds very easy and I will prove you that that it, that it is very easy, of course. So I mentioned already five steps. Here we have the five steps, and I think the first two steps are very easy. They are, they are, uh, they are done in less than 10 seconds, I guess. And on the on the website, you also can can see here you have you can have a German version or an English version. And uh, here below, after you finish the designation of this uh, of of the configuration, you uh, you should type in the company, your name. Maybe any comments, something like, I need that tomorrow, definitely, <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. Okay, let's start with step one. Step one is uh, just to decide uh, which kind of performance level do you require. Do you require PLD or do you require PLE? And uh, you can see here a little bit based on, on, on which... Um, on which performance level do you require the first digit will then uh, will be accomplished. 
Then the second step, just that easy, is to decide how many or which kind of inputs do you have. Do you have OSSD? Do you have an ONC? Or do you have an ONO or NC and C? Uh, connectors, this is maybe crystal clear for you because you know your application very fine. I think one more clue here is that you are able to um, to connect um, to connect uh, single uh, single channel sensors uh, because the ma the main clue and you choose for that for connecting single ch channel sensors you choose the um you choose here the first uh, the first opportunity because the eloflex um looks on not on the inputs but on the outputs for a cross fault uh for a cross fault and if you do that maybe use a single channel sensor you need to bridge you need to bridge the the second the second one or the second channel let's say let's say like this maybe this makes clearer so step two accomplished yeah let's go in uh, having a kind of application which i prepared for you and uh, make you make that to you uh, very easy to understand and uh, we also want i also want to show you uh, what happened uh, to the <clears throat> to the elo flex uh, depending on which kind of on uh, on which kind of field you are clicking on. So here is the here is the application. The first one is is an NO NO or an CNC contact. So we we decide to have an emergency stop here, and um, this kind of emergency stop we decide to have an effect on on safety output uh, one, two, and three. Well, it's up to you. You, um, but we decide in in that example. It's we are just doing the same with the input of uh, with the second input. We decide to have a magnetic safety sensors, and this should have an impact of two and three. Uh, that's here, and then we decide to have two OSSD sensors. Uh, one one with a light grid and one with a laser scanner, and they. Both have an, an an effect of safety output two, three, and four. So, and with that, you are done with step two. So let's go then to step three, where you assign the safety outputs and you make the logic connection of these safety outputs. So here, uh, you have safety output two and three, which is always an 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 end logic input of all four sensors so this means that one so you have all four sensors and logic and uh, and then logic end and based uh, which affects uh, output 2 and 3 and uh, and on the on a further step you can uh, you can assign if if one or both of these of these outputs does have an um, an switch off delay or a switch on delay, in this case, I decided to have two seconds and switch off delay, uh, but only on the third output. So, but it's up to you. It's up to your application. So, and with that, we are done with step three. So easy. So here it's just the same for the output for the last safety output. So let's go on the next step on step four. Uh, step four is the external contractor monitoring or which is well known as external device monitoring. And uh, this is this one, or or your start function, if you want so. And uh, the safety input, the safety output one, is located as a monitored input, which is here. 
and uh, it it affects on the uh, external device monitoring one. So the one function is then uh, blocked. And then we have another uh, external device monitoring, which we want to use in that example. And we just uh, go ahead on that. So then we need to assign the second external device monitoring, which are those two things, two contractors. And uh, we decide to have it manual, means uh, they are indicated on rising signal edge. Positive signal in some cases, and it affects here. So that both goes here, and they are connected in serial. So that is everything what you need to know. And then we are uh, close to be ready with our configuration. Uh, only the control outputs are missing. So those four, four control outputs, and right now it's up to you if you use them, if you need them or not. So you, are, uh, it's, um, you, can, you can let them free, so then uh, the control output has no, no impact, but um, I recommend to use them because they can be very helpful in the application to make some signaling indication on how the status is or, 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 other, or other kind of functions. The first uh, output, control output, uh, we indicate on the first sensor and uh, we indicate it here as a not, as an inverted signal. So it means if it's not, um, if it's not activated, um, it, it, it is then green or not activated, so inverted. Yes, and with no time delay. And we just, we just, you just then do the same with a second control output uh, based on uh, which kind of function you want to realize. Here uh, it is realized if the safety output two is activated, then control output two is also activated. Uh, just the same behavior. Um, Control output three indicates if the device is ready. Um, and control output four indicates uh, that if we have a kind of an error inside the device, uh, you will get an you will get an an, an an voltage on control output four. And maybe a a red light is flashing inside your your machine or something like that. Well, it's up to you. So good so far. These are the five steps. Now the last step uh, is uh, is is missing. You need to assign your uh, name, your number, your comments, and you need to 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 decide which kind of clamps you like to have. But then you are ready, and you send you send uh, this this configuration directly to Elobau based based on the website. And with that, it came to the technical inside sales. They work with it, and then you will get you, you will get uh, an offer based on your configuration, and uh, you will get a part number. So let's make a small conclusion. So why is the Eloflex a multi-talent and an all-rounder? It is, it is able that you make your own safety evaluation unit based on your needs, based on, uh, based on your function, based on your time delays. Yeah. Um, you do that, you do that online throughout a configurator uh, with, the, with the implemented sustainability of the components, which only those components are equipped which uh, are needed to realize your configuration, you are saving a lot of money uh, and, uh, and we have a lot, a lot of more sustainability. So it is, it is more like um, we choose with a pipette than with a, with a water gallon and um, yeah, online configuration. Then you get a fixed order number, which you can uh, reorder at every time. 
And uh, your big benefit is that uh, the Eloflex is pre-configured, already validated and directly usable. So from our warehouse or from our production line directly into your control cabinet for using it. Uh, a further clue is uh, of the Eloflex is the tamper proof because there are no buttons, no switches, nothing you can, you from outside you can change, uh, which you can change the uh, configuration. For serial mach machine builders, this is perfect. They love this product uh, because with that, they make sure that their customer are not making some own adjustments on that and try to make the machine go faster or something like that. So this is for your own security as uh, serial machine manufacturers. So what I what I mentioned is the safety outputs uh, are already redundant, internally redundant, and uh, you can use them up to PLE with a fault exclusion. So you have uh, at uh, Eloflex up to uh, four individual safety outputs at Eloflex Mini just two, of course. And uh, th that is what I mean with this scalable solution. Uh, you can realize all common safety function uh, as mentioned, RFID, read sensors, and so on. Um, connecting single sensors is possible, what I showed you in, in, in step two. And uh, if you have application where you have uh, bouncing contacts, so uh, then come back to Elobau, we, are, we have a possibility and opportunity to make some readjustment in timing here internally. Uh, this is but excluded from the, uh, this is, this is excluded from the, um, this is excluded from the online configurator. So, and with that, I also want to to show to show you a kind of a success story, which we all, which we often have with different kind of customers. So uh, one customer is calling us um, about a new safety function, and he heard about the uh, the nice possibility of uh, Eloflex, and he want, wants to know more. And with that, we found out that the that the customer just have more. Uh, safety functions uh, inside his machines, and we can and we can all combine those safety function inside uh, Eloflex. So uh, there was one customer which has an emergency emergency stop relay separately, uh, a safety relay for safety sensors separately, and a safety relay for a time delay. And um, if you uh, you know that um, all those all those function we can also realize with the Eloflex. So the customer saves three single uh, three single devices and have it have them all combined in one in one uh, safety relay. So the he he saves money, he saves space in his switching cabinet, he saves uh, know how because uh, it it uh, the the connection is much faster, and we as the Elobau um, benefit to our main 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 uh, purpose to sustainability. And uh, with that, uh, we we make uh, we contribute to to a more success of the triad from economy, economy, ecology, and society, and bring them more in a harmony. And now. Let's come up to the last question. How is this possible that Elobau was able in 2010 or in 2009 to bring up the Eloflex as a configurable so solution uh, where some of our uh, main competitors are not able until today? So I think the main issue all starts with awareness. Yeah? Awareness leads to a certain mindset. A certain mindset leads then to a certain behavior. And this kind of certain behavior leads to a result. The result, uh, what we have today and what you see as a Eloflex. So, but uh, I also want to explain it for you. What does this mean 
uh, dedicated to Elobau. The awareness of Elobau and uh, mostly of uh, Michael Hetzer, our, our company owner or our former company owner, was that climate is changing. He uh, grew up near the Alps in the, the south of Germany. And he explained that 40 years ago, they mostly have minimum two to three meters snow every year. And they had a hell of fun as children playing in the snow. But in the meantime, he found out that the snow, that there are less and less and less snow. So uh, he found out that climate is changing very, very fast. So he decided that we as Elobau wants to contribute to that. And for us, clim for us making a contribution or saving the climate is very important. So, so this mindset leads to a certain behavior. This leads to behavior that every product and uh, every idea we are having and thinking about having new products needs to contribute to sustainability. If it don't contribute to sustainability, we will get no budget to realize that product. That, uh, that project. And um, from the product definition, product management side, we take this into the account in our, de in, in our definition. And uh, the product development uh, need, took that into the process. And that's the reason why we uh, keep going, thinking about sustainability, how we can make the product uh, better, more sustainability, more sustainable, which uh, how, how we can give you as a customer more benefits leads that we are able to have a configurable and scalable solution as a Eloflex and we have a kind of all-rounder so everyone could realize his, his function on the best way. And my last point is what I told you right now is just dedicated to one certain product. But if you remember, we as Elobau have a lot of certain product which contributes just to the same behavior as I recently explained to you. So with that, I wish you a very, very nice journey throughout the Elobau products and a good conversation maybe with me or with, uh, with the colleagues to find out where are the clues, the main USPs, the benefit of, all the, of, of our whole product portfolio.